Hello everyone, Andy is going to show us the new Tecca model AHP 800 MSP magnetic stirring cold and hot plate. Hi Emily. Hello here's, Andy. Here's the 800 MSP and it's cooling a 2000 milliliter beaker right now. We have a temperature controller over here. It's set up using the remote temperature sensor feature. What we're going to do is we're going to swap out this bottle for another bottle of a larger size. So first we unscrew the clamp. You can lift your beaker right out, take the front panel off, and now I'm going to remove these four screws. Do you have any questions about the MSP, Emily? Well, do you need to use the remote sensor? No, you don't need to use the remote sensor. Back here, there's another sensor built in, but given thermo, uh, thermodynamics and heat transfer, that's not reading the fluid temperature. So what you'd want to do is learn the difference between that back plate temperature and your fluid temperature and either program that directly into the uh, temperature controller or just program your temperature controller down a little bit lower. Is the remote sensor included with the product? Yes, the remote sensor is included with the product and I suggest using that. It's, it's already auto-tuned and tuned for that uh, so it, it knows the, the system as far as how fast and how slow everything cools uh, and it's it's going to give you a lot better control if you're controlling right at the fluid temperature. What is this pink material that I see in the background? And that's a material called gap pad made by Berquist and it's a soft heat transfer material often used in electronics to help them conform to the shape. In this case it's helping us conform to the diameter of the bottle. Here comes what we call the sleeve, pops right off and leaves behind what we call the shoe. This is the way the unit comes stock. The sleeves of various diameters for different uh, size beakers are optional. So what I'm going to do is take our large beaker here and put it in place. How large of a beaker is that? That's a three and a half liter beaker. We can make uh, pretty much all sizes up to that. We've made a little bit larger and we've made irregular shapes. That slides forward and down and then I clamp this just snug. That's pushing a gasketed bar against the beaker to hold it against the gap pad for your temperature transfer, your heat transfer. Then I take the probe and put it inside and the controller is going to now see that temperature and begin controlling to that. And the temperature controller is built in? The temperature controller is built in. It has a, a speed, a fan speed control so when it needs to be noisy it is noisy and when it doesn't need to it's quiet. It has a software that interfaces with your computer and you can program uh, ramping and soaking features on it. Uh, we have some online typical tests that run from 4C to 40C just to see how fast and how well the unit controls. So it does heating and cooling? Heating and cooling, yes ma'am. Now you mentioned fan speed control. Sure. Is that something that the user can adjust the, themselves? Right, right now this is adjusted to 50% fan speed so that when the requirement was high you could hear me talk. It does get a little noisy when you first turn it on. As it, can, as it approaches the set point, it gets much quieter. If you reduce the fan speed, would that affect the cooling performance of the unit? Yes, it does. It's, uh, it decreases the capacity a little bit, but uh, often it's more comfortable to your ears. So that's the AHB 800 MSP, Emily. Excellent. Thank oh, you, Andy, for showing welcome. that to us.